Atmosphere, Aromatics. Hope everybody is doing well. So today I have a pretty fun video that I want to do. Now a while, about, a while back it was suggested to me that I stove a particular Red Virginia and that this Red Virginia when stoved is pretty tasty. And that Red Virginia is Sutliff's RC515. It's the bulk Red Virginia. It's pretty popular. Uh, it's pretty new and is pretty popular right now. And it's on its own, it's a little bit kind of generic. I, I kind of enjoyed it at first, but then there were some other Red Virginias that I found that I just, I have plenty of, so I just don't really smoke a lot of the RC515. But I have uh, quite a bit of it around in my cellar, so I thought, oh, I'll take some of it and I'll stove it and see what I think. So I did that very thing, and I have my two containers right here. Now I was hoping I could show you on the video the difference in color, but the stove is quite a bit, or noticeably different than the unstoved RC515. Maybe I can show you a picture here. We'll see if it comes out in my editing so you can see the difference. So yes, I stoved it and um, now you're supposed to, I just did that maybe two weeks ago and you're supposed to let it sit. Well, they recommended that you let it sit for about six weeks or so. So I haven't done that, but as soon as I stoved it, I took out a, a fairly large sample, set it aside, so that I could just do this video. Now I can do another video later if I smoke the, the aged stoved Virginia and there's a difference, then I'll, I'll maybe do another video and let you know what the, the difference is. But I kind of was really curious and I wanted to try it right away. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now and comparing that stoved Virginia to the regular. So I've got two pipes packed up, two identical Bulldog Cobb pipes. And this one has the regular unstoved and this one has the stoved. I've been smoking them a little bit. Uh, I have I smoked the unstoved a little while ago and I wish I would have wrote stuff down because I was getting flavors that I haven't I haven't been picking out this time but I can't remember what those flavors are but uh, I'll still give you what opinion I have and what I am pulling out of these. So okay let's uh, light up the uh, the original unstoved see what we're getting. Now, when I was stoving it, it gave off a really wonderful smell. They, the Herfers said it would smell like bread, like home, homemade bread. I do agree it smelled paste, like, like a pastry, but almost like a cherry, cherry apple turnover. Very sweet. Now, the smell of the original 515. It is really tangy and vin to me it's vinegar. Then you get a, you get the tobacco, kind of an earthy, kind of a hay smell. Now, I don't want to open this jar, but my sample that I smelled is the vinegar is pretty much gone, and you're basically getting a leafy, fresh fresh leaves and a little bit of a hay with a little bit of a just a slight tang and earthiness. The stove ring pretty much gets rid of that that vinegar tang, which makes me to believe that I, I'm willing to bet that the what it's flavored with is it's a Red Virginia, but it's I bet you it's a malt vinegar that they're using, not a straight vinegar, and, and with that's been sweetened because there's definitely a sweetness to it. Howdy. I see you're in a pipe. Are you into Cohibas, like uh, Cuban cigars? Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Uh, one of uh, a guy that was walking down the road. I think he's a neighbor that lives further up. Just um, called over to me and he was saying, you know, I see you smoke pipe a lot. Do you like Cohibas? And I'm like, well, I love cigars and I like Cohibas. So he calls me over. And uh, anyway, he says he goes to Cuba, and he says, yeah, I got these Cubas, and, uh, Cuba, uh, these Cohibas, so there you go. But I'm pretty uh, sure that those are fake. Look at the band right there. It looks pretty, uh, pretty sketchy. So anyway, I, I asked him if they're real, and he's like, oh, yeah, they, they are, you know, security and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, but still, uh, I'll, maybe I'll cut a little piece off the end and see what's inside of it, and and see what I think but that was kind of random so anyway back to my review so okay so the original RC 515 what was I getting from it so it's 
um, smell wise, yeah, you get that vinegar, and then when you light up, let me light it back up. Kind of lost my train of thought there. But I still want to do my video, get her done. So you mostly get uh, a lot of the flavors is drowned out by that that tanginess. You get a, like a lot of high notes with the RC five one five. A lot of a lot of dark fruit. and a little bit of sourdough bread but mostly you're getting the the high ends like the dark the the fruit the vinegar i've dried mine almost crispy so a lot of that vinegar has dissipated but if you smoke this with any kind of moisture in it at all you're going to get a little bit more of that tang and vinegar and then you get the after that you kind of get that the stone fruits and the kind of the cherry and then after that you get a little bit of that sourdough bread so okay it, it's not bad it's kind of one dimensional i find compared to other Red Virginias, like Cornell and Deal's Small Batch. That's pretty much my go-to when it comes to Red Virginias. I, I find it hard to, to smoke anything else after smoking them, that. Okay, the stove. Now the smell of the stove is much more natural. You don't get that tang or vinegar. You mostly get like leaves. Um, you get more of a hay and grass that you would get from a, a Virginia. Much more base. Getting a, a lot more earth. More, a little bit more spicy. You don't get as much spice with the with the unstoved. Now you are getting some of that sweetness and that dark fruit, like a dark cherry, but it, it comes in and out slightly. It's not the dominant flavor anymore. Still got a little bit of that sourdough bread. Just a darker, toastier overall flavor and, and stronger. And it gets strong, the stove version gets strong almost to the point of it's almost acrid towards the bottom from what I remember on my last bowl. But no tongue bite at all. But yeah, I have to say that the stoving, it, it doesn't at least the amount of stoving that I did, it doesn't totally, you know, just mute all the flavors. It actually, I think, evens it out. So now you, you're getting those complexities that you wouldn't get with, before stoving it because of that tang that's just punching you in the face the whole time. This is more, the tang comes in and out a little bit, but mostly you're getting that earthy, almost a cigarette-y feel as well. Um... I was told that there's a cr more creaminess to it, maybe with more moisture. This is dry. I dry my tobacco pretty, almost crispy dry, so it's probably a little more harsh than the normal person would um, would get out of it. So I don't find it really any smoother, but I would say much, much better. I, I, I could see myself smoking this stove version when I just want something different from the other red, like from the other red Virginias. I'd actually smoke it now instead of being you know desperate for something you know if i'm desperate for something different that's when i would maybe go for the rc515 but now this is something i could actually see myself smoking uh, on a regular basis when i just want something other than my carolina red flake so thanks a lot to the herfers for suggesting uh, stoving this it, it was a it was a fun project to do and easy and it gave me uh, another another you know uh, i can use the tobaccos that i normally wouldn't get as much use out of so thanks again. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and we'll see you on my next one. So till then, take care. Aromatics, signing out.